So the other day, somebody had asked me if it's okay to give my number to another nurse who is new to the hospital because she wanted to ask me for information about becoming a psych NP. Anyway, Pammy contacted me. We hit it off right away. She was asking me questions about my school, pointers in surviving certain classes. She was telling me her top three schools that she researched and was interested in. She even told me that she got accepted to this brick and mortar school and she's starting in the winter semester. So this is like a series of like two to three days worth of texting back and forth. So this led me to asking her what psych facility did she come from and if she's going to keep her psych job as per diem. Then she goes, I didn't come from a psych facility. Oh, I didn't mean to assume. I'm sorry. It's cool. I actually don't have any experience being a psych nurse. I mean, how hard can it be? We get them all the time on our floors. Is this girl being muy serioso? So I figured I need a few moments to spare. I am confusion right now. I am more of a text email gal, not a phone combo gal. But in this situation, I think a phone combo should happen, diba? Right? So I ended up FaceTiming her to make sure we both can read each other's facial expression, you know? So Pammy, why do you want to become a psych MP? Well, I feel it's easier than becoming a regular medical NP. How so? You fit with them, ask them questions, and it's all mental. With F and P, it's all about figuring out what's wrong. And this are so many things that I have to follow up on. You know what I mean? Wait, what? Is Pammy muy muy serioso? Pammy, have you seen someone in a manic episode? Isn't that when they are super energized and happy? Like the girl from the like the series called Homeland? She can be manic. That's, that's manic, right? What? Listen, I'm all for higher education, female power. You can do it, positive attitude, but... I wasn't sure how I could break the news to her. I don't know her enough to be bold and tell her the dirty deeds. I don't want to come across as a witch because I'm actually not. I think you should explore getting a per diem job as a psych nurse first to see if you actually like to work with the population. It's different from grandpa and grandma confused and trying to get out of bed because they have a UTI. It's more than that, Pammy. And to be honest, you will disservice your fellow nurse because when they are calling for your help and telling you that the patient is in need of help, sometimes a clinical judgment against the medical procedure is necessary. <sighs> what we get on the floor just barely touches your expectation on handling mental health. Is a new world out there. So you're telling me I shouldn't be a psych MP? <laughs> no, I'm telling you that mental health is real and it's complicated that if you are coming into this with a mentality of it's easier than medical, then you're wrong. There are pros and cons on each side. You have to really figure out what is best for you. So anyways, just so you know, the whole combo just went back and forth. She really was adamant that I told her she will, will be a horrible psych MP because I used the word disservice her fellow peers. Anyhow, after that whole FaceTime, I never heard from her again. I think I hit her nerves. She still works in the facility. We just don't see each other because we work in a different unit. Although there was one time we were on the same elevator. She pretended she didn't see me. Even though I gave her a smile and a nod. Anyways, it was the longest elevator ride ever. What psych facility? facility bah! What psych facility, facility did she come from? Facility? Facility? I can't really say facility. Pammy, if you are watching this video, know that I was speaking from the heart, not from my bum bum. You are a great nurse 